One day even the universe will die. The stars that light up our sky will slowly burn out. Their brilliance will fade, dimming the vast theater of space. Mighty galaxies once intertwined will drift apart, stretching the cosmic fabric until it tears. Everything will grow darker, colder, and quieter. Epochs will pass. In trillions of years, there will be no light. The warmth that cradled planets and nurtured life will extinguish, leaving only endless, frozen emptiness. This chilling silence may seem eternal, a celestial requiem in a universe that has lost its vibrancy. Scientists call this the heat death of the universe, a somber notion that sees entropy reach its relentless pinnacle. A universe where thermodynamic equilibrium reigns absolute, devoid of gradients or motion, a stillness so profound it seems impossible to fathom. But that's not the only possible ending. Perhaps everything will collapse back in on itself, the universe retrojecting into the dense singularity from whence it began. With a final breath, the cosmic lungs may deflate, gathering their scattered children to the bosom of another inception. This collapse, known to some as the Big Crunch, might lead, paradoxically, to a new Big Bang, a rebirth from cosmic rags to universal riches. And there is the possibility that space will expand forever, the cosmos a phoenix continuously rising out of its ashes to spread its wings wider than before. An expansion so relentless that even the atoms themselves, the fundamental building blocks of all that exists, will be torn asunder. No sound will echo, no light will dance. Not even the imaginary sounds that haunt the ears within the void will persist. Only nothing, an unfathomable silence that stretches across the expanse, whispering tales of what once was. This is how it could all end, silent and eternal. A universe concluding not with a bang or a whimper, but in a cacophony of nothingness. And as these cosmic fates hover on the edge of possibility, humanity gazes into the abyss, wondering. Hoping, maybe fearing. Perhaps knowing that irrespective of the end, the journey, the cosmos itself, was a symphony sung across the stars. A whisper through infinity, a serene, eternal night.